Hello Libra, this is your uh, October 2018 reading. So let's just shuffle, get right into it for you. See what energies Libra is dealing with, flowing with the month of October. Oct eight, even though it's the tenth month. So Libra, 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 October. <sighs> wow. I had a feeling um tons of stuff we're just gonna let's so let's just see what it is. Okay, <laughs> Queen of Wands, Empress, very much divine feminine manifestation there's a ten of cups ace of cups the sun card holy okay <laughs> page of swords the hermit nine of pentacles page of pentacles eight of pentacles judgment emperor seven of swords nine of wands Woo! drama oh but like like those romance love those romance uh what do they call it trashy romance novels that kind of drama so kind of cartoon like drama like not too bad it's um kind of good you're uh, i feel like you're kind of liking it um it's like going on around you but you're like the empress and maintaining that ten of cups empress sun card just you're aligned with truth, goodness, heart-centered. Okay, so it's I, I see it happening around you. You you're either disengaged or removed somehow from it. Higher perspective, however, it is for you, Libra. Um, you're kind of just loving yourself and. Uh, that's why I'm saying it seems like cartoon-like because you're detached from it. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So, <clears throat> Eight of Swords, Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like you took this Ace of Swords, this giant sword, and freed yourself from the situation that you just kept involving yourself in. So... You saw an opportunity, your own power, what, an epiphany, what, whatever it was, to cut ties, free yourself, self-reciprocate, give back to yourself, find an outlet to give back, okay? And it always starts with self, so because of that four of cups, that's an offer of love. Mm -hmm. you, you don't see it, though. It's one of those, like, behind-the-scenes things, so it's like, there's anxiety, there's unrest, there's uneasiness, um, but with this, I, with this Four Cups, I see it more as you being positive, looking forward to love coming in. Um, and having, like, that, like I said, that higher perspective. Okay, this flipped around. Four of Wands. <laughs> okay, Four of Cups, the Four of Wands. So, having that higher perspective of knowing that this is coming in for you, this love. Four of Wands, happy home, family, marriage, all that good stuff. Yummy, yummy, lovey, dovey. Um, but good, solid foundation, working together, uh, like-mindedness, seeing eye to eye, your tribe, your vibe tribe, um whole lot of love making maybe <laughs> you got the wild hairs and mm -hmm. got a wild hair yeah anyway so maybe someone stimulated that wild hair and uh in you libra seven of swords four of swords yeah you have a rested mind because you you just know it's it's the good stuff coming in now it's not that seven of swords manipulative love it's 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 easier. It's four of swords. You can rest your mind that, yeah, there might be bumps, but it's just, it's going to be little bumps because you're so, um, 
You're vibing with yourself, okay? This clarity with the Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This is just you in your heart space, loving yourself, seeing yourself clearly, clearly, seeing everything clearly. And when you do, that comes from seeing things through the heart, okay? Um, a lot of green on this Four of Wands. So that is what enables you to be so, have so much clarity and be so um, loving as a result, open as a result open to love. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, oh, Third Party Situation and Twin Flames, I don't know. <laughs> King of Wands, Death Card. Okay, so this is what I'm saying, this Scorpio energy keeps coming in. This is that Kundalini, that root of that underworld, that connection with that root, that that root fire. So, Scorpio, the death card. Um, masculine energy, because it used to be Mars, but Pluto, okay, very much. Truth, okay? Love, truth, it's one and the same, and it's not so comfortable and pretty all the time. Because um, we have the Ace of Swords here. So, everything that's not aligned with truth must die away so that you can love yourself, reciprocate, with, start this process with yourself, continue, maintain, sustain this process with yourself, Libra. Balance, okay, and that's what you're all about. So, self-reciprocation, clarity, so that you can let things fall away that will impede you from being in your heart, loving yourself, being kind and nurturing and giving to yourself, open to yourself. Don't be closed off to yourself because I was just getting, this is also the subconscious mind, okay, right next to, this is like, I just, I placed it there, so this is all the subconscious coming to the conscious mind, remembering who you are, past lives, death, all the, okay, different ways that you actually died, like literally, okay, um, Why you lived where you lived and were born where you were born at what time that all this all the coming into clarity of self through the heart loving and giving being loving and giving and kind to the self this is also ma okay this masculine and Scorpio I was already getting that so the first king of wands and, and also with the ace of swords that's very masculine clear ether okay Ooh. yeah what did we say uh, three of cups ace of cups two of one yeah and then the queen of swords so I'm saying <laughs> there might be some karmic interference or creating lag time um this here. Okay, the chariot. I was just saying some lag time to, to get things, the momentum, get things moving. So, and this is also, okay, two working together, the, the two aspects of the self, being centered, balance in the heart, accepting both light and dark aspects of yourself. And that's a powerful force to wield. I keep getting that movie Greece at the end of the movie when they are they really are cool now right because they've you know they've gotten past they've overcome the fear of their dark side and they're all you know they're dressed in black tight black you know and there's at the carnival and stuff right so you know it's um it's about embracing everything at all the lives you've ever had all aspects of yourself and this chariot card, there you go. And like I was saying, getting it moving. Um, something impeding, creating this lag time. Okay. Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So the work you need to do is just keep focusing on what you want. Okay. Don't focus on what you don't want. Don't even say don't focus on what you want. <laughs> uh, erase that. Edit that out. Um, pretend I edited that out. <laughs> Okay, so with the Nine of Cups, that's 
all everything that you want. Okay, that comes from being in your heart, being balanced. And all these things have to start from within, start with the self. So, oh, and I just saw Emperor right there. And with that King of Wands, I'm just saying, so maybe some Libra got some Twin Flame uh, action happening. <laughs> I just saw the Knight of Wands when I cut into start shuffling again. So, coming in, okay, King of Wands, Chariot, Knight of Wands, could be a fire sign. Could be, uh, we have Death and the Chariot, so it could be Scorpio or Cancer. And those are both water signs, so maybe it could be a water sign. Um, I see Four of Wands, King of Wands, I saw the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, so. It's just that Aries energy as well. And with Aries full moon, the chariot card, that uh, Cancer is very, okay, ruled by the moon. So, okay, here's nine of wands. So, with all this, I see this is very much, like, heavy, powerful, but passion and creative energy, okay? Because that chariot, the death, okay, so birthing something new, being very clear in the heart and balanced with the four of wands, six of pentacles, ace of swords, Manifesting, <clears throat> birthing something new. Death card, King of Wands. Again, again from the heart. Char, char, har, ha is the heart. Okay, and that Nine of Wands. Anything nine. Okay, nine months. Okay, birth. Again, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and Ace of Wands. So that's what I'm saying. Working on birthing something new. This is fresh, new energy for you, Libra. So, wield it. Uh, make it work for you. Take advantage of this. Seven of Pentacles. So it's ripe and it's mature. It's 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 you know ready for the taking. Time it's harvest time and it literally is. <laughs> I think it's like one of the last harvests right now in October. So um, okay, the time is now for you, Libra. These cards. I I, I see cl clarity, balance, uh, heart centered manifestations so it can be a big force to a lot of energy okay with the nine of wands there big force to wield but um i think you're reaping the benefits you're you're calling in your dividends now um reaping the harvest you got an ace of swords king of wands it's like you got your sickle in hand okay and now there's a little bit of work because that eight of pentacles came up a couple of times, seven of pentacles. So there's a little bit of work as far as harvesting, reaping those rewards. So you got to collect on your dividends. Now it's like they're just sitting there. You just got to go cash the check. You just got to go to the bank and get that, you know, pull out your interest or whatever. So it's, it's like most all the work has been done. Now it's like... It's like being the being open and receiving it now. The cashing it in part, okay. Um, the the next level. Now now this momentum, okay. A lot of fire. Manifestation momentum. See, because I mean, just this eight of pen, eight of pentacles. <laughs> that's that's work, okay. Ace of wands. This is that. Brand new Aries, full moon, fiery. Okay, and I open to the strength card, so. I'm going to do one more. Was it Seven of Pentacles I opened up to? So, Seven of Pentacles, strength, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like all the work you put in, now you're harvesting, reaping the benefits of all that hard work. But it's like you still got to go out and plow, like not plow the field, but, um, you know, take the sickle to the field and go gather all the grain or whatever. So it's, um, it's like work, but the next level, like you put in your dues. Now it's like more mission oriented, um, showing others how to love themselves, the next level of loving yourself. What does that look like? 
<laughs> what did I say with some Aries getting it started? And there's the Emperor. Okay, so... I, this has been coming up for the past few weeks, so it's like I felt this energy coming in for a while now. So... And literally, like I said, you could have a fire sign. You could have an Aries coming in for some of you Libras, okay? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. So this is a, that bounty, that abundant manifestation, that harvest. Nine of Pentacles, okay? You've worked hard, Libra. You have, okay? Feel satiated. Have contentment with that higher fan. <laughs> okay, so Emperor comes out. We have the higher fan. Nine of Pentacles. So, if this isn't your energy, I feel like there's a fire sign coming who, and who's like serious. Because Four of Wands, Hierophant is on the bottom when the Emperor comes out. Maybe, maybe y'all going to manifest a lot together. Or someone who's going to match your manifestation power. Whoo! <laughs> Libra, okay, you possibly have, um, I think that's a big message, okay, and Aries, well, fire sign, but I see Aries here, so, with the King of Wands and the Emperor, so, Libra, one of you, some of you, I don't know, you got some masculine energy coming in, either for yourself, or this is love coming in, okay, but by you embodying that, Okay, that's what calls this in. And depending on how much you're open with that valve, okay, of openness to love, that's going to decide that, you know, that's going to be the gauge as far as um, what's going to dictate the momentum of that, okay? So you can control the flow, that valve, okay? It's up to you. So depend it just depends on how open you're willing to be. All right, Libra. Bless you. Love, peace, and blessings for October 2018. I hope that helped at least one of you. Uh, maybe give you just some clarity and insight for what's coming up for this month. Okay. Love, peace, and blessings.